I think there's a couple of positives we can extract from Ed Ball's speech. I mean, first of all, his criticism of HS2. I mean, that echoes the feeling of IOD members up and down the country that's not really uh, offering value for money, and he's at least questioning that. We also think that his questioning of the government subsidies to home lending uh, are, are a little doubtful. Uh, at this time. We're, we're a bit worried about that um, as well. And the other thing I think is promising is that he talked about RBS and Lloyds, the money received from those privatisations being put back to paying off the national debt. We think that's quite a responsible way of government spending money rather than handing it out on, on dotty schemes. Um, having said that, there are, there are plenty of negatives today as well. The proposed mansion tax would really hit a lot of ordinary people in the southeast of England and London in particular, as well as people uh, throughout the country and a lot of members of the Institute of Directors as well. It's a tax for which you get nothing back. You're simply handing over money. The government's grabbing it because it can. We think the mansion tax is, is a very flawed idea. And the proposal to compel firms to take on an apprentice uh, for every non-EU person they hire uh, is plain daft. It'll double the cost uh, of taking on certain employees whom businesses don't choose to take on. They take on those employees because they bring special needs or because they have skills that people here don't have. So there are, there are, there are negatives there today as well. The, the, the levy on the banks, everyone's crossed with the banks, but you can't pretend you're going to keep bashing them uh, the whole time. Uh, we, it's just a shame that there's su such populist grabs uh, when Labour actually had quite good pro-business ministers, including Ed Balls, when it was in power.